All right, good morning all to Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren, the Director of Training and Marketing here. And today we have a very special presentation. We're bringing on one of our star agents, uh, Marissa Ambris. So she'll be joining us shortly. Uh, before we get into our, the bulk of our presentation, I wanna join, I wanna uh, welcome Bill Seitz from Cleary Mortgage. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Kevin. All right, how are you doing today? I still have this nagging, uh, sciatic nerve just ripping down my leg, but other than that, I'm managing. Dog, doggone it. That is no fun. Yeah. 45 going on 95. Right? Yeah. We're gonna, I'm going to get you a walker. Don't worry. <laughs> Cane will work. <laughs> exactly right. And good morning, Travis Breton, corporate broker. How are you today, Travis? Uh, doing good. How you doing? Doing well. All right, good. So uh, before we get into our presentation, uh, Bill, let's – uh, first of all, I just wanted to kind of take a look at this 10-year treasury. Um, I'm, I'm seeing flattening. Yeah, we really don't, um, you know, it's, that's really become irrelevant at this point uh, because the, the, the banking and the investors are really just trying to sort out through, you know, week to week, the economic data that's coming in. Yeah, just um, their risk, right? They're just trying to sort out their risk. Yep, and see how we're going to come out of this, you know, this pandemic, this, you know, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, COVID-19, whatever you want to label it. Um, I think the one thing that's unique about this situation versus other market hiccups is, you know, when we've had issues, recessions, you know, if you want to go back to the depression, th there was something underlining, you know, underlying fundamentally about the economy that was kind of getting all, you know, going, going sideways. Um, this was, we had a really healthy economy. I think everyone would agree that, you know, their 401ks look better than ever. Um, everyone had a job that wanted to work. And basically the rug was yanked out from under that. Yeah. So it wasn't due to uh, inflation or it wasn't due to uh, interest rates being too high or the cost of borrowing money was too, you know, too expensive. There really was none of those types of variables in the economy. This was just flat out. We got, you know, pounded by something that we have no control over. Yeah. And so I think, you know, I don't know if, you know, whoever listens to some of the, the briefings, some of the, uh, the economic task force that, that's been put together, I think there's a lot of optimism that we can actually get back to a relatively strong uh, third and fourth quarter due to those factors. For sure. For sure. Yeah. The, 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 uh, yeah, the, the mechanics or like the, you know, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, metrics are still underlying. They're still yeah, there. 100%. And a lot of people think there's going to be a lot of pent up demand now once we, you know, markets are starting to open now. So you're seeing that states, you know, Georgia's kind of taken the plunge first. They've opened up pretty much their whole uh, economy. And, um, you know, we're going to see other states follow suit. Some are being a little bit more cautious. Some are, you know, being overly cautious, in my opinion. Uh, I think I think the healthy people have a way to mitigate this, to be responsible. I think employers are willing to take the steps necessary. Um, so I, I do see, just from my own personal view, uh, there's some over, a little bit over protection there because people do need to go back to work. That's just, that's just, that's yeah. a fact. Oh, yeah, for sure. So I've queued up two videos, Kevin. Um, and actually, I want to uh, welcome, <laughs> we kind of missed this. I want to welcome everyone to the webinar. I uh, forgot to uh, the intro, Kevin, um, and any, ag <laughs> any agents that uh, we haven't uh, had on, the, on the, um, the Wednesday webinar. Welcome to uh, what we do here. Uh, we have a nice 30-minute you know, powwow of uh, real estate topics that are, we find that are very relevant and very uh, informative and keeps kind of everybody up to speed on what's happening um, on the real estate side and also the financial side and, and of course, Kevin, what you bring to the table with the marketing. So um, everyone welcome. Good morning. And um, I do have these two videos I want to share. I, th this, this first video is real quick. There's both these videos are three minutes or less. Um, and those that were on the webinar a couple of weeks ago, I shared this Matt Ishba, Ishbia is the president and CEO of uh, United Wholesale Mortgage. And he's a very, very sharp cat. And, you know, I've been really following how they've had to manage and mitigate this, this issue on the lending side, which affects all of us in the real estate, of course. So let's listen to this and I'm going to, I have some takeaways from what he says here. So let's, let's, let's watch this real quick.
Hi there, I'm Matt Ishbia, President and CEO of UWM, and this is the Weekly Fast Break. This week we talk to our team about turn times, submitting and closing faster than ever, new underwrites, two days, conditions, one day, but it's even faster. Sometimes it's same day on those things. You guys know that. So take advantage of it. Talk to your realtors. Market yourself as closing loans fast. Take advantage of our rate lock terms. 12-day lock, 9-day lock, 16-day lock. Don't use a 30-day lock or 45. Take advantage of that with fast turn times. Even on refinances, closing loans fast matters. Also, talking about the market, inside pass every morning. Two to two and a half minutes of great information about the market. The market's all over the place with rates, what's going on, servicing values, this, MSRs, all the different things are going on in the market. Wait, what's the MBS doing today? How do you expect pricing to be? Get that couple minutes of information. It's always a good piece of information about UWM or something going on, but it's really all about the market. Inside Pass every morning, they're doing a fantastic job. Make sure you're watching this, getting the information so you can educate consumers. There's a lot of things going on in the market. You can know every single morning how to talk about rates and how to think about rates every single day. Also, client request, the fastest, most efficient way to get things done with UWM. Of course, you can call, and our 5,800 team members are working from home, and they answer the phone all the time. But if you need something, submit a CR. Submit it, pick the right category, subcategory. We get these things done so fast so we can solve your problems. If you're not happy, click not happy, and it gets escalated. Once you eat, when they say they close it out, just say not happy, it gets escalated. We will solve your problems fast with client requests. Take advantage of it and use it anytime you need to communicate with our operations team or our company. Also, mindset. We talked to our team about mindset. The opportunity is there now. Right now, the economy is slowing down. A lot of things are happening. Job loss is huge, but it's going to change. It's going to change really soon. So we talked to our AEs about what are they doing to prepare for an awesome June, an awesome July, an awesome August, maybe the best third quarter of all time or the best fourth quarter of all time. That's coming. Where's your head at? Are you talking to realtors right now? Are you writing your loans right now? Even, even if you can't lock them, write the loans, get them set up, get them approved, and get ready. Because when rates take a little bit of a dip or when the market settles down a little bit and rates actually are where they should be, you're going to take advantage and do a lot of loans and a lot of loans really quick. So mindset, where's your mind at? Talk to realtors, get your refis written, get ready for a huge third quarter or fourth quarter or first quarter. It's coming. Get ready. Thanks for joining me. I'm Matt Ishbia, President and CEO of UWM, and that was the Weekly Fast Break. Okay. So that first video, and some of it's obviously, it's mostly mortgage related, but there's a couple things in there that are super important. Um, UWM was, you know, like a lot of lenders was hit very hard with this issue, trying to figure out how to manage their 5,500 employees, how to work from home, how to get their process and flow in order. And I, and I saw, you know, we, we do a lot of business with this company and I saw them affected, but now I'm seeing things change. And if you, if you listen to what he said, a lot about speed, two days underwrite, one day conditions, sometimes, sometimes the loans being underwritten in one day. So Last week I talked about some of these other lenders are having a horrible time still. It's nice to see these guys kind of pulling away from the, the, the toughness of the situation and are gonna be able to close loans quick. This is an option for people now. Uh, if you have buyers or you have a, you know, a contract that you have to write and you gotta close in under 30 days on a purchase, 100% these guys can get it done. So that's, that's good news. The other thing I wanna point out is the optimism the back the back end of this year if you hear what he said possibly third fourth quarter are going to be huge interest rates settling in the market getting adjusted and the, the uh, country and the economy is open again and talks a lot about you know that pent-up demand that's going to be you know kind of firing out of the gate so i do like that message i think it's a positive message i think it ties into a lot of stuff that we've been talking about uh as a company over the last few weeks Whoops, was, I was muted there. <laughs> no, that's for sure. And I really just like his positive attitude uh, to begin with. Yeah, and then let's um, let's go down to the next video, Kevin. Uh, not Is this that the one? one. No. Okay. It's, uh, well, I'll come back to this. Let's see. You can go back to the. Uh... I can also bring up your uh, email that you sent. Yeah, bring up the email if you can, real quick. Of course. Was it this one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. And the, and the theme, real quick, Kevin, the, the, sure. the theme here is like adapting, adapting to the time. So once again, it's a little bit, it's more geared towards mortgage brokers, but I just want to, I just want to, and we don't even have to listen to the whole thing, but it's maybe a minute or two of it. 
let's just listen to how people are adapting to what's happening and what their mindset is. And just like Matt said, so let's listen to this and, and I think it's good for everyone to hear. Okay, great. How would you describe the way that you have been adapting? Yeah, I mean, it's been pretty crazy. Um, I think that the biggest thing right now is just staying informed and educated about all the changes that are happening. I mean, I'm watching every video that I possibly can, every interview that I possibly can, I'm staying up on the market, staying up on all the guideline changes, reading those and educating myself about those so that I can then go and educate my clients, my real estate partners, all those people with those changes um, and kind of become that resource for them. You gotta be a reader. You gotta commit to what the investors are sending us. And so when they're sending an email that says, special, important update, it's like, I don't know how many words they need to use to describe how important the email was, you know, over the last few weeks, um, read it. And you would see that the guidelines were changing. We, I live in New York City and, and most of our business, about 85% of our business is conducted in the state of New York. So as everyone knows, New York's got the most cases of anywhere in the world. And so there is impact and we're feeling it a little bit, but you know, all you can do is just keep plugging along. You'll lose some loans and just look after your clients, be straightforward and transparent about what the implications are uh, as a result of this. And, you know, try to focus on what you, what type of loans you can execute now, given the current industry overlays and approach the business from that standpoint. One thing that I'm doing is every single day I'm setting up several um, Zoom calls with entire real estate offices, um, which has been great. I'm now getting in front of a lot of agents that I wouldn't normally be able to, especially right now where everyone's quarantined. Uh, people have a lot more time right now. People are more open to meeting with you. A lot of it's just about deciding what your mindset is going to be, right? If you decide that you're going to be negative and all oh, things are tough and this sucks, then that's going to be how you feel about it, right? If you decide, you know what? It is what it is. This is the hand I got, got dealt and I'm going to play it the best way I know how. And you decide that you're going to wake up every day and be positive and focus on the wins each day, right? That's what we focus on our team. It's like, what can we win at today? Brokers who are having success in the last economy, it doesn't matter what we were doing. We have to do something different. It's like winning the first half, but now you gotta win the second half. This is temporary. We all know these changes are temporary. We all know these changes are not going to last forever. And we do, and we know when we get on the other end of this, rates are supposed to be low. People are going to be antsy. People have been waiting and waiting to go buy. People have been waiting, waiting to go list. So when that, you know, when they lift, <laughs> lift the um, gates and let everyone come out, it's going to be busy. So I'm just telling myself like, take this time, utilize this time, spend as much time as we possibly can getting ready for that. Because the last thing we want is to get on the other end of this and not be prepared. Um, because you know we still want to have a great year. <laughs> How would you describe the way that you- Whoops. Okay, so yeah. Um, once again, another excellent video. You really get to see into the mindset of people that are still working hard through this. They're, st they're, um, they're educating themselves and they're staying current. You know, it doesn't matter if, if it's from, for myself, you try to follow the guidelines, the overlays, but for the realtors following their local board association um, guidelines, whether it's the county guidelines that Michelle had talked about and Travis had talked about in previous webinars, it's being, you know, preparing yourself to be the expert to your clients. Um, I liked what the gentleman said is focus on the deals that you can do now. Don't worry about some of them that, you know, if the seller is maybe not willing to list or they're not comfortable and you know that maybe that's going to be down the road, focus on maybe the clients that are willing to move forward or aren't as scared as some of the other people that are in the marketplace right now. And those are the serious ones. I mean, if you've got clients like that, those are the serious buyers or sellers that are ready to make a transaction. I think it's super important. No, that's for sure, Bill. And that lends itself to what we're going to talk about today with Marissa is, you know, continue doing business. This the huge change in the way that we're doing business is Marissa will kind of outline, but um, yeah, it's, it's just reality. We have to, we have to continue doing business. We have to, you know, uh, do, do business with the, with the, uh, the low lying fruit still. Right. Well, yeah. And, 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 and lastly, before you get on with Marissa, I think that, and you've heard it from Matt and also some of these other brokers that rates are going to be even lower on the other side of this, because what's going to have to drive and, and really jumpstart this economy is as the, the jobs uh, come back online and 
the uh, mortgage backed securities, uh, you know, the investors become more confident. The rates are going to be probably in the mid to high twos. And, and, you, and you don't, <laughs> you talk about cheap, cheap money, people with jobs, people that are, that have been waiting are going to be all over it. As you, as the gal mentioned, it is going to be very busy. Yes. I like it. Let's have it. All right. Perfect. Well, Bill, thanks for those insights. We always appreciate you uh, coming on the, the webinar. So let me bring Marissa on the line. Uh, Marissa, good morning. Can you hear us? Good morning, everybody. How, how are you guys? We are great. It's really good. good. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, happy Wednesday to you. And so Marissa, just a quick background for Mar Marissa. She's up in the Northern California area in Discovery Bay um, yes. near Stockton, correct? Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah, so she's up there. She's one of our star agents. She really takes a lot of the stuff that we train on and she does it. And she, you know, has a good knack for uh, social media marketing and all kinds of really good stuff. You, if you're not following her on social media, you need to because she, she has really good ideas and <laughs> she's really fun to watch. <laughs> thank like you guys. Of, yeah, Marissa, <laughs> I like some of your recent stuff too. It's really cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if you guys want to follow me, um, mostly active on Instagram and that's Marissa underscore California living. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a subscriber. <laughs> you are. You are one of my biggest fans. <laughs> you know it. You know it. <laughs> Kevin, thank you. You and Bill. <laughs> That's right, huh? We always comment it. on your stuff. Yes, absolutely. I love it. Yeah, good, good morning, Marissa. This is Bill. <laughs> good morning, Bill. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Well, I, I can definitely uh, verify and vouch for your, uh, your very creative social media presence, and I think you do an amazing job with it, and I always enjoy seeing, uh, you know, how you – put either some humor or some fun, in, <laughs> some fun into your messaging because it's always yeah. a, it's always a really good real estate message but then you kind of are creative and have fun with it and I think it really shows into who you are as a person I think you do an amazing job thank you you kind of have to do that because a lot of people won't follow you just for real estate information you know they might find it a little bit boring but I've kind of found that if you add a little spin of humor or sarcasm or whatever you want to the mix then it definitely becomes more attractive and and people are more inclined, even if they're not ready to purchase a home yet, or even if they're not, you know, owners, they still want to kind of take a peek at what you're doing because it's funny or because it's interesting in that sense. So yeah, that's working for me. Yeah, it's the name of the game. Stay in top of mind. And you know, yeah, you're absolutely right. And we don't want to bug people, but we want to make sure that they know that we're there. Yeah. And those little kind of exactly. silly, you know, little anecdotes, yes. or whatever, you know, quick video exactly. clips, those are perfect, right? Yeah, exactly. Totally. So that's fun. I'm having a blast doing that. Good. So Marissa, you have been, of course, still showing some properties and still doing business yes. in this yes. COVID-19 shelter in place. You know, we're obviously a, a uh, essential business as been determined yes. by those above, right? So maybe you could That's give right. us a, a little bit of, you know, just kind of, you know, uh, bits and pieces of what you're doing to maintain business and also what, what has changed, obviously, when you're going out and showing property. Definitely. So I think one of the biggest things was, you know, I have a lot of communication with the people who are my clients right now. And I think ever since this whole coronavirus thing started, I was able to you know, settle down their fears and just talk them through everything that's going on, not scare them, not freak them out and just say, you know what, we're going to take it day by day. Even people that were just barely starting to get pre-qualified, you know, I just kind of um, um, reassured them that, you know, everything was going to be okay. And, and um, like I said, taking things step by step, day by day. And so I think I prepared them for what we're living in right now in the sense that it's kind of like, um, like, you know, like the videos that we are watching, you know, we, there is going to be a pro and a positive out of everything that we're going through. We are going to make it out. Okay. You know, the day is going to come where it all settles down and, you know, they're going to have purchased their home and everything will be fine. So I think, you know, that like teeing them up for a positive was definitely a good way to start. Yeah. Um, now that we're showing homes, things are definitely looking a lot different. And one of the things that I wanted to bring to everybody's attention is the new corona, coronavirus property entry advisory and declaration form that you guys are going to find on CAR. So basically, this form is something that you need to turn into the listing agent anytime you want to show a property. 
and it does need to be signed by your clients. Um, so you're going to have one form for your clients up to two clients um, can only visit the property. And well, he, I don't know. I don't know if every county has different, um, different regulations, but I know that here, like in, in this side of the Northern California counties, um, they can, you know, you can only have two people come with you to visit, you know, to visit the property. Yeah, I think, I think that's the same. Travis, do you know if that's the, if that's the case here? Um, it, as far as I know, it's been the, uh, the general rule of thumb. <laughs> so yeah. okay. I don't know if it's an actual requirement everywhere, but that has definitely been the guideline. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So the, so this form is going to have two lines, um, so that up to two people can go with you. And then you're going to need another one for you, you know, specifically as the agent. So make sure that when you guys, um, when the listing agent requests this form that you submit one for your clients and one for you, but basically, and, mm -hmm. and Marissa, are you finding that, uh, the listing agents that you're going out, are they proactive? Are they prepared with this form or, or is it? No, I no, they just say, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you already know that. No, they're like, no, right. just turn in the, you know, advisory de and declaration for coronavirus. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, sure, no problem. And then right. I, I okay. run on over to car and, you know, Google or search it up. And so, yeah. Um, but basically that, that form is telling your clients that there's risk of exposure yeah. and that um, although we are essential, there's still stay at home orders. Yeah. And unless you absolutely need to, then you should probably, you know, not go or if you're going to go, then you're going to need to practice um, guidelines, you know, you're going to, and then it lists all the guidelines and then it tells you to make sure that, you know, you wear protective gear. And so that kind of is a segue into my little, my little spiel that I give my clients before we go, I tell them BYO, BYOM, bring your own masks, right? Because we Perfect. all <laughs> have a little bit of shortage on the mask end. And yeah. if they don't have a mask, which, you know, a lot of people might not. I have a video on Instagram on how to make your own mask with a bandana and two elastic hair ties. How cool so is that? <laughs> Marissa, I, I watched that video and that is, that is, you did an amazing job. I was like, Thank oh, you. I'm like, how's this going to turn out? And it turned out perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little it was a little scary in the beginning right you're like mm, i don't know i don't want to look like the lone ranger <laughs> right, we'll, we'll, we'll be honest with us how many how many takes did it did it did you have to do to get it get it to the finished result <laughs> about five and it was still a little sketchy but you know what we got the point across <laughs> no it was, it was exactly. awesome <laughs> and then just a quick little thing about that again okay. it's just another you know way to showcase who you are before you meet a client and hey mm. you know I'm pro I'm proactive I'm yes. um you know organized and you're yes. sending those things to your clients before yes. that says a lot about you as an agent so yeah they really job. like that and yeah so I'll copy the link I'll text it to them you know they can watch it and and even you know that's also a way I've gotten to talk to a lot of people um, through that video because a lot of people, you know, see that video some way, somehow, or a friend sends it to them and then they find out that I'm in real estate. So that's, you know, that was unexpected, but it's a neat thing. But oh, anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I send them the video and, you know, and they bring their own mask, but in my car, I have a kit and the kit, it's my coronavirus home showing kit and Perfect. it has, um, foot covers, gloves, hand sanitizer, and and a Ziploc bag to put all the used items in after you're done with the showings because you don't want that, that stuff, you know, yeah. uh, bouncing around in your car and you don't want, you, you don't want to tell your clients. Yeah. And you don't want to be like telling your clients, all right, guys, well, you get to take your, your dirty foot covers home and, you know, no. until you find a trash can. So yeah, you have a, a Ziploc bag that's ready to go. And they love that. They love seeing that we're proactive and that we yeah. were thoughtful. So I don't know. That's just what I know. That, that's right now. huge, huge. Uh, because Marissa, when I, you know, in this whole uh, COVID-19 uh, situation, when I go to a grocery store or my wife and I go to a grocery store and we see everybody, you know, the employees wiping down the carts and yes. we see that proactivity, it makes me think, oh, okay, these guys are on it. Yes. Conversely, we have, you know, over the last, month and a half gone into other you know places where they don't you know take it seriously or they're not being proactive uh -huh. so it just says a lot about the business right 
Right. Definitely. You, you're definitely showing your clients that you care, that you're thinking about their health and safety. Um, and that, yeah, like you said, you're taking things seriously and you're doing your due diligence to prepare, be prepared. So, yeah. um, yeah, they, they do appreciate it for sure. Yeah. So that is amazing. Um, and we're, we're kind of running out of time a little bit. So I just want to make sure that, uh, we open up the, uh, the, the, the chat to any questions that any of our uh, agents have. I know some of our agents haven't shown any property. So if, uh, agents, if there are any specific questions, go ahead and, and ask. I know um, Angela asked, uh, what was your Instagram again? It's Marissa, M-A-R-I-S-S-A -S -S underscore California living. Perfect. Yeah, everyone needs yeah. to check out Marissa's TikTok video. Yes. <laughs> oh that, that's, that's, that's one of my, that's, I, I watched that like five times. I was like, I did too. Okay, yeah, I have like, I have like 500 views and they all came from you guys, right? Exactly. <laughs> it was all Bill and Kevin. Bill and I are half of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, funny. It. I, go, I go through my feed at night, you know, kind of when I'm winding down, I go to bed and I kind of, you know, go through my you know my stuff and yeah. I, I i was just i was just dying i like i, I like showed my wife and i was like this is this is too good I know. that's hilarious i love it thank you guys i love the support i love seeing your comments i wish i could like them a thousand times but yeah i <laughs> i love i love that my company supports all of my craziness so thank you guys oh uh, we love it we love it thank you well good um well bill do you have any questions for for marissa um are you seeing any hesitation out there with your clientele, Marissa? I know you're, you're on the, you know, you're younger than I am. I know that. Uh, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm probably middle of the road here for, for Kevin and Travis and I were probably in the same, uh, I know Kevin and I are at least <laughs> we're the same kind of zone, mid forties, but are you seeing different responses based on age and demographic? No, all of my clients, I have pretty, um, clients across the, the the age spectrum and everybody still seems pretty optimistic um i have people that are looking to invest that are in the retirement age and then i have young clients that are buying for the first time that are still pretty excited to take the leap right now so i have fortunately not seen any hesitation from anybody um but i think also like it like i told you guys it it comes down to like what the video was saying keep keep the optimism up and, you know, keep informing yourself and share information that is accurate and up to date. Yeah, yeah for that, sure. That is a very good point, Marissa, you know, sharing accurate information because we know there's a mm -hmm. lot of misinformation out there yeah. or uh, information that's not relevant. And so having good sources of information is really important. Um, sure. So you can be the expert. For sure. For sure. Um, if yeah, I go ahead. Go ahead. Insert Travis, my uh, boring broker commentary. <laughs> um, with, with the EAD form. So, um, in my area, I'm seeing some listing agents, you know, on like a, uh, a vacant home or something, just like, hey, just, you know, go look at it. Just get that form signed, regardless. Like, if mm -hmm. you're going to take a client out, get the form in place so you have it and it also protects you so um whether or not the listing agent is asking for it just get the form signed i think is the best for sure yeah don't don't uh, let them dictate that you yeah. control that situation and then the other yeah. thing marissa i have to say i totally agree that no one's going to follow uh marissa real estate so you know <laughs> having that extra california living is super smart um, I think everybody should do that. It, it, some sort of something living or, you know, something like that. So it seems more exciting than just boring real estate stuff. No one's going to follow exactly. that. Exactly. Exactly. Or if I just had my name, like somebody would probably say, like, why would I want to follow her? What's, you know, but I think, yeah, the California part, it really draws people's attention from all over the place. So yeah, yeah good point. To, Thank you. Or region or something like that. Yeah. So I, I think it's good. Exactly. Good stuff, guys. Well, we've run out of time for today. Um, we just want to uh, thank all of the agents that, uh, you know, we really appreciate you guys taking the time to come on these webinars um, and welcome to the new agents and prospects that are on the line as well. We look forward to uh, the prospect of having you join our organization. So you guys uh, get out there, make it a great day. Marissa, thank you so much. Thank for you, guys. Us. Yeah. <laughs> it was a blast. Thank you. Pleasure to have you. 
All right, guys, get out there, have a great day, and make it a great week. See you next week on the webinar. Bye-bye.